what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. I am thrilled to be bringing you this lesson right now. There's so many great, great techniques in it, and uh, it's just a fun song. So you will need a capo on the first fret to match up to the recording. Um, but anyway, we'll zoom in. I'm going to show you that classic Johnny Cash rhythm, the chords, little lick, all that stuff. We'll zoom in and do it. But real quick, I really appreciate your support by you subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine. I really appreciate that. That's the support that I'm asking for, and I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, let's zoom in, though, and break this one down right now. Here we go. All right, let's dig into it. We got the capo on the first fret. And with that, we're now going to think of it as an E blues kind of song, but it's got that classic Johnny Cash rhythm and style. And I'm going to show you the rhythm, and it's got a little bass line going on. It's all really fun, and, it, and it's used in a majority of the Johnny Cash classic songs. So you're going to actually be benefiting for other Johnny Cash and other country, for that matter. Uh, so let's go over the chords first. Remember, I said capo on the first fret. So when we play an E chord, it's really in the key of F because of the capo, but we're thinking of it as an E blues. So we've got an E major chord, second fret, second fret, first fret. So E, 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 E. I don't know when. Then A major, so second, second, second. A, 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 A. Then I'm back to E. Three, four, two, two, three. Then I play a B7 chord. Then go back to E. Now it starts over. Ever play with guns, then the A chord, then back to E. Now B7, that B7 is rumbling, and that tortures me. E. Five, six, seven, eight starts over. Now the B7 is the second fret, first fret, second fret. And then pinky time on the second fret of the high E. And that B7 chord outlines the opening riff. So let me show you that riff now. It comes right from that B7 chord. So it's that middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Then index is on the first of the D. Da, 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 da. And we do two of those. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do, do. And so our middle finger is going to tug down on the second fret of the E string. And then the E major chord. So check it out. So now we're going to work on the little bass line, then we're going to add a rhythm that goes in between the little bass notes. So let's start with the E chord. Um, when you're playing this by yourself, it, it's good to play the low E and then the A string while you're holding that E chord. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the electric guitar is playing the the octave up of E, so it's playing the D, A, D, A. So you could instead, or mix them together, play this. It's the same thing as... You can mix and match those. But the go-to for now will be the low E to the A. Now, 
Now on the A chord, we're going to do the open A, and then the D. But an alternate way could be A to low E. Or the go-to way. So let's just go with stick with the main ones here for E, low E to A. Now let's go to A. Back to E. Now we want the B7, so 2nd fret, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret of the high E. And for this bass line, we're going to hit the A string with the middle, 2nd fret, and then move it up to the 2nd fret of the low E. So here's that B7. So now, with the E chord, we hit the low E, and then we do a down-up strum. Then we pluck that A string and do a down-up strum. So we alternate the low E down-up, the A down-up. We switch to that A, and it's going to be open A to D. Down, up, D. Down, up, A. Down, up, D. Down, up, back to E. B7. So, so if you speed it up, and A. Starts over. Get ready to go to A. Okay, I'm going to do that progression from the top super slow. Here we go. Starts over.
All right, there was the lesson. Thanks so much for spending a little time playing some uh, some outlaw country with me. I appreciate it. Also, thanks so much uh, for the support, like subscribing to this new channel of mine. I really, really appreciate you guys taking that kind of next journey with me. So thank you so much. Uh, also, if you want to tell me about other songs you'd like to learn or lessons, techniques, anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know. Um, like the video, and you can check me out on all the social media stuff out there as well. Anyway, thanks again, and I can't wait to see you real soon, so take care.